FPUC, it's in the third stimulus package, and you can get FPUC from March to August. But how does FPUC work, and what is UI, and what is Escalate Benefits, and what is Retroactive Benefits? In this throwback video, I explain how you can get unemployment across the board. Meantime, Ron Wyden, Democrat out of Oregon, wants to FPUC to go higher on the third stimulus package. He wants $600 a week. Will you get $600 a week? He's a Democrat and says he's going to push for it when lands in the Senate. Enjoy this video throwing back unemployment benefits on Overnight's Ally. You're unemployed. The president says he's giving you FPUC, but he said yesterday he's giving you FPUC to get back to work. Good afternoon, everybody. This is LLA with Afternoons LLA. Hope you're good and safe and not getting a headache from all this rash of confusing remarks, whether it's Larry Kudlow, President Trump, or Nancy Pelosi on Sunday morning and Saturday afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Afternoons LLA Late is every day at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. Starts with a check, then goes to hazard pay, which we all qualify for from listening to Larry Kudlow this morning. Oh, my goodness. And then... Uh, FPUC, which is this video on rent assistance. But boy, there's so much that has come out in the last few minutes and hours about FPUC, so I'm going to get right to it. It really is just very troubling, and I, I'm going to start with this disclaimer right now so I don't get this hate comment in there. I'm not bashing the president. I'm not bashing uh, the Republican Party, but the remarks today from, the, from Larry Kudlow were insane, and the remarks by the president yesterday about FPUC either were a, misspe a misspoken word or shows that he doesn't understand what FPUC is. The president said yesterday in a press conference from his golf, co golf club that He's giving you unemployment benefits of FPUC at $400 to, quote, get you back to work. Unemployment benefits are for people who are unemployed, who don't have a job to get back to work. Unemployment benefits are paid to people who are unemployed and the employer has not given you a job to get back to work. To make it even clear, if the, job, if the employer has, give, has given you a job to get back to work and you decline that work, your unemployment benefits are not paid. I mean, I've made this contention very clear on this channel before. What's ironic is this is not the first time we've heard this. Steve Mnuchin said he did not like people getting a lot of unemployment benefits because they won't get back to work. That doesn't make sense because unemployment benefits are not paid to people who refuse re-employment because the employer reports to the unemployment offices of every state, hey, I offered John a job back to come back. He declined. Guess what? John doesn't get benefits starting the, that next day. That's how it works. Now, the craziness was Larry Cudlow. Larry Kudlow appeared on Morning News, and Larry Kudlow told Dana Bash in a, in, a, in a recording that literally had Dana Bash, the two words Dana Bash, trending on Twitter all day today. He told Dana Bash that he is so proud of um, the White House in giving Americans now $800 a week in unemployment benefits because the way we're going to do it is we're giving $400 from the federal government and it's going on top of $400 from the states. Now, Dana Bash was trending because not only was Larry Kudlow so ridiculously insane, but her eye rolls were better than a, than a moment between Candy and, and Phaedra. Just roll, and she ultimately said to him, where's this extra money coming from? What $400? What are you talking about? He said, well, there's $400. She says, I, I, there's no $400. What, what is the other $400 from coming from? He said, well, there, <laughs> in one minute, he said um, that there was that there was going to be $1,200, then he said there was going to be $900, then there's going to be $800 in one sentence. As one person said, then thereafter, can we have Google Translate for us what Larry Kudlow is saying? It's not funny because Larry Kudlow, who's the chief economist to the, Don to the president, Donald Trump, simply does not understand what the benefit amounts of states are. Let's recap. On Saturday, the president signed an executive order for FPUC. 
clear. The executive order pays $400 of FPC from the federal government, clear. Not $600, clear. It goes on top of your UI and PUA benefits of your state that starts at a base level uh, amount, also very clear. This is where it goes off the tracks. Larry Kudlow thinks that states entry level, base level benefits for UI and PUA is $400. He says we're getting $400 from the federal government to go on top of your state benefits of $400. And you're going to get $800 a week. Congratulations, a lot of money. Uh, no, Larry, um, first of all, I... <sighs> He's not employed at CNBC anymore, but maybe he should have been fired so he would understand unemployment benefits himself. Unemployment benefits in states start as low as $70 or $80 a week in some states. Yes, as low as that, and go up to about the highest of starting benefits of $196. So $86 plus $400 is $486, Larry. It's not $800. This is an economist, the economic advisor to the president who's paid with your taxes to talk about numbers. He's not, ta he's not hired to talk about uh, paper mache and balloons. He's hired to talk about numbers and he can't seem to process basic math. And needless to say, this interview is at nine o'clock in the morning, so there's no excuse that he was drunk either. <laughs> What's going on, Larry? In fact, no one qualifies for $800 in base level benefits in any state, if you include $400 on top of anything. And even if he was thinking about escalated benefits, you don't get to $800 in most cases either. If you don't recall, escalated benefits is what you can qualify for if you made a certain amount of money in your states. I've done this video for you a lot of times. Basically, if you made over about $30,000 in 2019 earnings, you qualify for escalated benefits. That raises your base level of benefits of the state from about $70, $80, 90 $100 a week to as much as about maybe 200 300 there's a few states in northern in new england that is a little bit higher but that still doesn't get you to 800 dollars oh my goodness um now what makes this even more troubling is the following that yesterday the president was asked at his golf tournament not golf club um about fpc his executive order and he had even more trouble understanding what FPUC is used for. He said to the news reporters that he's giving the money for FPUC for the unemployed people to get them back to work. Oh my goodness. And this is the person that Mark Meadows calls every single 10 minutes in the room negotiating with Nancy about $600, $400, $200. I mean, if you really can't figure out what FPUC is about, then you wonder why the negotiations for your stimulus check, which you're owed, has a pay, which you're owed, rent eviction moratorium, which is owed. You figure out why everything is going off the tracks. This is so basic, and I don't understand why it's Steve Mnuchin, Donald Trump, and Larry Kudlow all collectively don't understand what unemployment benefits are. It's not complicated. And yes, I'm not being political. I'm just saying that these people three times have now said that they don't understand what unemployment benefits are. I just, you know, groucho the... <laughs> I, it's... Can we bring Big Bird in and maybe Big Bird can flap his wings and hit, get, get someone's attention because this is no one is getting it. Uh, I, I go slow. I make things clear. I don't know why this is not being made clear. Um, here, let me, let me go through the comments. N not, not the comments. The questions to the president late yesterday. Uh, yes, please. We can start, says the president. Yes, sir. Can we start with the $400, sir? So I just want to get your reaction. You're saying the states will have to come cover some of the costs. Which governors have told you, which governors have told you they would sign on to it? You see where this question is coming from. This question is coming from my reporting over the last four days in which I said that states have refused to do complex mathematical calculations. That they're not, and they're also not going to provide uh, FPUC. FPUC is from the federal government. It's called F because it's federal. It's not called S, S-P-U-C. It's not state P-U-C. It's called F-P-U-C. So they they don't want to do it. They technically can't do it. They don't have computer systems to do it. And so I don't know why he thought that the states would be technically able to do it or financially able to do it. The president's response is, well, if they don't, they don't. They don't. So basically, you don't get your benefits if they don't want to do it. Well, we already know they're not going to do it. Um, that's up to them. But if they don't, they don't. That's their problem. No, sir, it's your problem. 
Um, you're the President of the United States. FPUC is a federal provision. It's supposed to be enacted by a matter of Congress. And ultimately, you know whose fault it is? It's one person's big fault. And here I'm going to be very blunt. It's Mark Meadows' fault. For you to say it's the fault of the states to pay FPUC, no, it's Mark Meadows because Mark Meadows said, we're not going to negotiate about FPUC. We're going to do it by executive order. It's Mark Meadows' fault because he refused to stay in that room and get a deal on FPUC. He walked out and he says, we're going to do it by executive order. Now the president says it's the state's fault. Um, I don't think the people will be too happy too. Uh, <laughs> let's see that. They have the money. Uh, states don't have the money. So I don't think the people will be there too happy too. But they don't. They don't. Oh, really? So you just don't. So we just don't give FPUC. If they don't give FPUC, then we don't give FPUC. Who cares? Well, maybe we just won't vote for you this far. I mean, who cares? I mean, you know, who cares? You don't have any money. You don't have any food on the table. Who cares? You don't have any, any bills to pay rent. Who cares? If the states don't pay you the FBC, I, who cares? They don't, they don't. He says it's three times the sentence. They don't, they don't. Who cares? I, I, God, Jesus. <laughs> I just, ah. Um, so why did you decide on the $400 when... Previously, families were receiving $600. Yes. There will be a hardship for many. Why did you, what do you say to them is the question. There's a hardship for many at $400. Why do you say to them? The president, no, it will not be a hardship. This is the money they need. This is the money they want. And this gives them the grant incentive to get back to work. The grant incentive to get back to work. Unemployment FPUC is a grant incentive to get back to work. If you're not hitting the camera at this point, the cell phone, uh, and are about to blow your stack, then congratulations. You've reached the Tony Robbins uh, room of self-meditation. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we're all just, we're all about to break our teeth and bite our lip because this is just incredulous. Um, we're giving $400 as a grant incentive to get them back to work. <sighs> okay. Um, then he talks about the payroll tax reduction, which no one cares about. And then we go later on. He says, okay, when will this relief get in the hands of the people? What date? When will they see the FPC? So a lot of people have asked me that question as well. When will I see the FPC? My response has been not being facetiously. Never. Under the executive order, never. It's going to be invalidated on Monday and Tuesday by a court of law. And then ultimately Nancy and Stevie would negotiate and get it done. <laughs> Never under executive order. Uh, when will you see this get in the hands of the relief of the people? What date? President says, I think it's going to be very rapid, very rapid. It's going to be distributed in a way, whatever the fastest way is. There are various methods, but it'll be rapidly distributed. Vague, 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 vague. No answer. Um, but you also said you're expecting legal challenges with this, Mr. President, right? So why? I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. <laughs> This is not me talking, this is a reporter talking. Yes, you did, Mr. President. Yesterday yesterday you said you were expecting legal hurdle. I mean, yes, he did. You, you, I read the quote on, on camera. Uh, yes, you were investigated for that. No, they've obstructed. Um, Congress has obstructed. But it's in the Constitutional, Mr. President. Go ahead, right here. Um, if you're not seeing what he did, he cut off the reporter, so he would not answer the question. He would not answer the question how soon you would see your FPUC benefits, which is really great. Um, we're all starving to death. We have no money to put on our table. We have no money to pay our stu to, 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 to pay our rent. And uh, a guy in a golf course is, in a golf club is cutting, up the, uh, cutting off the reporter and answering the question when you're going to see your FPUC benefits. So you know what? I'm going to answer the question for you because no one's answering the damn question. What's going to happen is that Nancy and... Chuck um, have a have a task force of people who are constitutional advisors. Yes, they're paid by you. Uh, yes, you pay their salaries to determine the invalidity, the unconstitutionality of the FPP provision, and that those people are going to court on Monday or Tuesday. They're going to seek an emergency injunction to stop and validate the executive order as the FPUC. It's going to be granted because it's unconstitutional. The president cannot issue money from uh, from the coffers of the president of the White House and send and t instruct the Treasury to send out money to American citizens. He can't do that. It requires an act of Congress. So the court will invalidate it quickly. And then comes the great news. And it's just like, I've had to endure all this for great news. <laughs> I've had teeth 
told they were more uh, easier to endure than this. Yes, I've had to endure Nini Leek sing rapping that's better than this. Yes, I've had to listen to Kim Zolciak's uh, Google Me. <laughs> <laughs> You're tardy for the party uh, on remix more enjoyable than this. Yeah. <laughs> said this, this there's not going to be a flower in my hair. This is not that show, but at this point, maybe I should put it in my hair. Uh, it's just really crazy. What's going to happen is Nancy and Chuck are going to, Steve, are going to come back to the negotiation tables. They're going to get it done and they're going get to get you has a, your FPC agreed upon whatever number it is, whether it's 400 or 500, 600, who cares? It's going to be a, a decent number, better than the crap Ola number of $200, which Mitch proposed and the White House initially floated, or zero, which they actually floated before then. And then, then you're going to ask me when it's retroactive. It would be retroactive. The Democrats are going to ask for retroactive FPUC benefits. It's going to come to you. And the money that for FPUC that you need and that you are owed, that you've certified for benefits on these weeks which you're not getting paid for, for FPUC, how soon will you get it? You'll get them as soon as you would normally get your state benefits. So, for example, let's say you would normally get your state benefits when you certify for them within a three-day routing a processing time. Let's just say that's what normally was the fat, the time turnaround time for your checks. Um, that would be the same this time. So the moment it becomes law, the moment it becomes law, expect the turnaround time if it stays at a number and not a mathematical calculation, expects the turnaround time to be the same turnaround time that it has always been for you to receive your benefits to your state. Really great news to endure all this mess. I apologize that this that these people have really just not treated you well, um, have really created a mess of something that's not that confusing and have really tarred and feathered the entire process. It's both sides. And ultimately, I'm here for you. Uh, last Monday, this channel was 130,000 subscribers. We're at 170,000 almost now, um, 160,000 almost now. So the new goal is to reach 200,000 subscribers in the next two weeks. A lot of things are happening. I enjoy your company, you enjoy mine, except the one guy who says I wear the same shirt every day. This one's blue, it's plaid, <laughs> it has some white in it, it's not purple, and you didn't see me wear it yesterday, so there. Um, sure enough, if I wear the shirt on Thursday, he's going to say, you wore it on Sunday. Uh, so go to the front of this channel. There's a subscribe button and an alarm button. Hit both of them so you subscribe to this channel and you're going to learn every time a new video goes live. And I will, I'm constantly sending messages in the community section of the, of the, of the account so you can alert when something happens. Because with these people, there's always something happening. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Imagine how, if they can't agree upon this, imagine when they order lunch during that two hour meeting that they have every day. Imagine how contentious their orders for lunch are. You ordered chicken, I ordered baked, and you took my baked and I wanted fried and I wanted a side of hot sauce. I mean, just, you just know. <laughs> and then when the chicken comes to the door, Nancy's probably like, how dare you take your fried chicken before you you i've been hungry with the american public and you I just they're just overly dramatic they just really need to take it down a notch i just don't i just don't know why they're so dramatic they're wait i mean from I, I understand congressional leaders are dramatic but this one's like a little bit too much coming up next is rent assistance with ben carson <laughs> I can't believe Ben Carson is coming into this channel now. I just, I, I, I can't take any more. Why is Ben Carson coming into my videos? But now he is by active executive order. Oh my goodness. As always, stay informed, stay motivated, stay inspired, and stay in my life for more.